the issue is it seems as though he wants to kind of like exert power and dominance over people who don't really want it. That's why, you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. Is Kevin Hart hiding a secret that could shake Hollywood to its core? This question has been swirling around ever since Cat Williams dropped a bombshell allegation about the comedian. According to Cat, Kevin Hart didn't just climb the ladder of success with his charm and humor. No, Cat claims Kevin accepted an offer that would make most people do a double take. And that offer, allegedly, it came from none other than Sean Diddy Combs, one of the most controversial and powerful figures in the entertainment industry. This has to be a 100% culture shock. I can't imagine living a lifestyle of the incredibly rich and famous and then going into this very dark, impersonal, cold, austere facility. Now, let's take a step back and piece together how this rumor exploded. Cat Williams, never one to hold back his opinions, stirred the pot when he accused Kevin Hart of doing the unthinkable, engaging in intimate relations with Diddy for cash. And we're not talking pocket change here. Rumor has it, Kevin was paid a whopping 50 million to get cozy with Diddy, all in exchange for a boost in his career. It's a wild accusation, no doubt, but it didn't come out of thin air. And people get caught up the illusion of Hollywood. People really get caught up in this in... The animosity between Cat Williams and Kevin Hart has been brewing for years, and this latest revelation is just the latest twist in a long and complicated saga. Let's dive deeper into how Diddy, Kevin Hart, and Cat Williams all found themselves at the center of this Hollywood storm. For context, we have to start with Diddy's recent legal troubles. The music mogul, once a titan in both the business and entertainment worlds, has been facing some serious accusations lately. And Stacey, you say today's indictment reads like a mob indictment. What was most shocking to you of all these allegations? Yeah, the fact, Jake, that the government in, in this indictment presented evidence alleging that Sean Cones was running a criminal enterprise. Federal agents arrested Diddy, and although the exact charges have been sealed, rumors have been flying that his arrest is tied to a slew of allegations, including misconduct and potential exploitation. The charges are part of an ongoing investigation, and many believe this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's no secret that Diddy's extravagant lifestyle has been under scrutiny for years, but things have gotten even messier now that names like Kevin Hart are being dragged into the conversation. Before we get to the juicy part, Cat Williams claims, let's rewind a bit and talk about Diddy's infamous parties. Well, if he really was filming everybody, I mean, he had a lot of people at those parties, right? These gatherings have become the stuff of legend in Hollywood, known for their over-the-top luxury and questionable activities. These weren't just your average celebrity get-togethers. According to multiple sources, these parties were designed for more than just networking and fun. The atmosphere was described as almost cult-like, with Diddy allegedly using these gatherings to wield power and control over other celebrities. Some reports have even suggested that attendees were pressured into compromising situations, all while Diddy sat at the center, orchestrating everything behind the scenes. It's within this context that Kevin Hart's name has surfaced. Videos and images of Kevin attending these notorious parties have recently emerged, and they've sparked a wave of speculation online. One particularly viral video shows Kevin laughing alongside Diddy and Usher, a sight that would seem innocent enough until you hear what Diddy is saying in the clip. In the video, Diddy makes an offhand comment telling Kevin not to sit on the bed, followed by a strange anecdote about his past with Usher. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and... I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's out. The tone and content of the conversation raised eyebrows immediately, especially considering the rumors that had already been circulating about Diddy's private life. For some, this was just the beginning of unraveling the mystery of Kevin Hart's connection to Diddy. There is another clip where Kevin is seen laughing after a woman's hair catches fire at one of Diddy's parties. Harmless, right? Not quite. The incident occurred during a chaotic scene involving candles and a hot tub, and Kevin's response sparked outrage, with many calling it an example of his questionable behavior at these events. Uh, that's what I call it, raw dog. Uh, I'm not jumping, I'm not jumping the tub myself. Uh, you know, once, once everybody moves out, you know, just me and the lady, this is my scene. I'm used to this type of thing. Uh, you know, doing what I do best. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, did the camera catch that? Cut the camera! Of course, the video doesn't show Kevin doing anything illegal, but the casual attitude and the fact that he was even at these gatherings adds fuel to the fire. Hey, yo, Kevin, come here. No homo. We're going to have a contest. You know, we're going to have a contest. We're going to get our breath first because your breath be stinking sometimes. And we're going to go back and forth. And then there's Cat Williams. Cat has never been shy about calling out his peers in the entertainment industry. And his feud with Kevin Hart has been an ongoing battle of words and accusations. 
But this time, Kat didn't just insult Kevin's comedic abilities or his Hollywood persona. He went straight for the jugular, accusing Kevin of getting ahead by becoming romantically involved with Diddy. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a- According to Kat, Kevin didn't just stumble into fame. He was allegedly groomed by Diddy, who used his influence and wealth to bring Kevin into his inner circle. Kat claims that Diddy offered Kevin an unbelievable deal, 50 million in exchange for becoming his lover and ally. What makes Kat's accusation even more explosive is his insistence that he too was offered a similar deal by Diddy, but unlike Kevin, Kat refused. According to Kat, the reason he hasn't reached the same level of mainstream success as Kevin isn't because of a lack of talent, but because he wasn't willing to play by Diddy's rules. Kat portrays himself as someone who stood up against the alleged manipulation and corruption in Hollywood, even at the cost of his own career. But when African Americans make it and they get to the top, they, they try to help other people, but they don't really take care. This revelation has led many to wonder. Is there any truth to Kat's claims? Could Kevin Hart really have accepted such a deal? Or is this just another case of Hollywood gossip spiraling out of control? Let's break it down. First, it's important to acknowledge that Kevin Hart's rise to fame was rapid and seemingly effortless, at least from the outside. After years of performing stand-up, he suddenly landed major movie roles, became the face of huge endorsement deals, and headlined sold-out shows around the world. Some, like Cat Williams, argue that this kind of success doesn't happen overnight without some serious help from powerful people. And in Hollywood, there are always whispers about who has the right connections and what they had to do to get there. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. Kevin, for his part, has always maintained that his success is a result of hard work and dedication. He's often spoken about his humble beginnings and the grind it took to make it in such a competitive industry. But Kat isn't buying it. According to him, Kevin's success isn't just about talent. It's about the relationships he built with people like Diddy who allegedly had the power to make or break careers in Hollywood. The tension between Kat and Kevin isn't new either. Their rivalry dates back years, and it's often been framed as a battle between two very different comedic styles and personalities. Kevin, with his family-friendly image and broad appeal, has been embraced by mainstream Hollywood in a way that Kat never was. Kat, on the other hand, is known for his edgy humor and unfiltered approach to comedy, which has earned him a dedicated fan base, but also a reputation for being difficult to work with. And a lot of the evidence, alleged evidence, that's been gathered in this case was from those two raids that were conducted on his personal homes in Miami and Los Angeles. And the indictment names the, um, the, the things seized that, they, that he allegedly made videos of these performances as, mm -hmm. that have been named freak offs. It's this difference in their careers that Kat has pointed to as evidence that something fishy is going on. He's claimed that Hollywood has a tendency to choose certain celebrities and elevate them to stardom while others are left on the sidelines. And in Kevin's case, Kat argues that his rise to fame wasn't entirely organic. Instead, Kat claims Kevin was handpicked by Hollywood's elite, specifically Diddy, who allegedly used his influence to ensure Kevin became a household name. That he controlled every aspect of her life. He is accused of frequently beating her and would hide her in hotel rooms for days until the bruising and signs of abuse were gone. But Kat's allegations go even deeper than that. He suggested that Diddy's involvement in Kevin's career wasn't just professional, it was personal. According to Kat, Diddy didn't just help Kevin land movie roles and endorsement deals. He allegedly became romantically involved with Kevin, using their relationship as leverage to advance Kevin's career. Kat claims that this kind of arrangement is not uncommon in Hollywood, where power dynamics often blur the lines between professional and personal relationships. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Of course, none of this has been confirmed by Kevin Hart or Diddy. Kevin has remained silent on the issue, not addressing the rumors directly, which only adds to the speculation. Diddy, too, has faced his fair share of rumors over the years, many of which revolve around his parties and his relationships with other celebrities. But as of now, both men have chosen to let the rumors swirl without offering any clarification. The special housing unit is a 24-hour lockdown unit, which means that any movement within that unit is controlled and coordinated and no inmate moves outside of his cell without being in full restraints to include uh, leg irons, handcuffs, a belly chain, and at least two, if not three staff members escorting them. 
This leaves us with a lot of unanswered questions. Is there any truth to Cat Williams' accusations, or is this just another case of Hollywood drama? Did Kevin Hart really accept Diddy's offer? And if so, what does that say about the entertainment industry as a whole? These are the questions that fans and critics alike are asking as the story continues to unfold. That clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. What's undeniable, though, is that the relationship between Cat Williams and Kevin Hart has taken a sharp turn. What was once a rivalry between two comedians has now turned into a full-blown scandal with accusations that could tarnish both their reputations. And as Cat continues to speak out, it seems unlikely that this conflict will settle down anytime soon. As this story develops, one thing is clear. Hollywood is a place where power and influence can make or break careers, and the lines between personal and professional relationships are often blurred. Whether or not Kevin Hart and Diddy's alleged relationship is real, the rumors alone are enough to raise serious questions about how success is achieved in an industry where everything and everyone has a price. Took Sean Diddy Combs into custody. He's seen in this video entering the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan with others when agents from Homeland Security Investigations approach and separate him. They place Combs under arrest and lead him out the front door in handcuffs. And that brings us to the next layer of this scandal. If Kat's claims are true, what does that mean for the other celebrities who have been linked to Diddy and his parties over the years? There's a long list of names, and as more details come to light, it's becoming increasingly clear that Kevin Hart may not be the only one who found themselves entangled in Diddy's web of influence. That uh, this is the end of the, of the Diddy story. As we know it. And here's where things get even more twisted. This isn't just about Kevin Hart and Diddy. Cat Williams suggests that what allegedly happened between Kevin and Diddy is just one small piece of a much larger and darker Hollywood puzzle. According to Cat, Diddy didn't just offer these outrageous deals to Kevin. He claims Diddy created an entire system around these shady exchanges, where those who played along reaped the benefits of fame, fortune, and career advancement. You know, I think in federal court and for these charges, they would say it's routine, but in the public realm, this is very significant, just from who we associate Diddy being and everything we've seen him do over the decades. Like you said, this is quite the downfall to go from, I mean, we saw the mansions back, back in March that were raided by the feds. So to go from living in those mansions to being in the jail. And those who refused. Well, let's just say their careers often didn't fare so well. Let's take a moment to explore this deeper. Kat's allegations have opened up a conversation that's been whispered about in Hollywood for years. That behind the glamour and glitz, there's a network of secret deals and power plays that decide who becomes a star and who fades into obscurity. Diddy, with his vast influence and control in the industry, is rumored to have been a major player in this game for decades. But what exactly does that mean? We all saw it posted yesterday all over our social media pages. Cassie filed a lawsuit in New York City against Diddy. Yikes. She's claiming she was stuck in a decade-long cycle of abuse. Imagine you're a rising star in Hollywood. You've worked hard, but you're still waiting for that big break. Then, out of nowhere, you're invited to one of Diddy's infamous parties. You know that being seen with Diddy and rubbing elbows with the A-listers at his events could open doors you didn't even know existed. But as the night goes on, things take a strange turn. Maybe Diddy pulls you aside offers you a drink, and starts talking about how he can help your career. Only, it's not help in the traditional sense. The implication is clear. You do something for him, and he'll make sure you're taken care of. Refuse, and you might find that Hollywood suddenly becomes a much colder place. Kat claims this is exactly what happened to him. He alleges that, just like Kevin Hart, Diddy offered him a similar deal, a chance to fast-track his career if he was willing to play by Diddy's rules. But Kat, in his own words, refused. He wasn't willing to sacrifice his dignity or integrity no matter what kind of rewards were dangled in front of him. And the price for turning down that offer? Kat has often hinted that his refusal to go along with Hollywood's darker side led to his exclusion from the mainstream success that others, like Kevin, seem to achieve so effortlessly. Now you got the Diddy situation where he jumps on a private jet, they say yesterday, um, and is on his way to the Cape Verde Islands. This narrative becomes even more compelling when you consider the long list of celebrities who have attended these parties over the years, many of whom have seen their careers skyrocket after seemingly cozying up to the music mogul. Diddy has always had a reputation for surrounding himself with up-and-coming stars, and his influence stretches far beyond music. From actors to athletes, it seems that anyone who gets close to Diddy finds themselves in the fast lane to success. But now, with Kat's claims in the mix, it raises the question, at what cost? Replete with very, very serious and salacious allegations uh, including allegations that uh, Combs had cameras throughout his... One of the most talked about examples of Diddy's influence is Usher. Usher, who was mentored by Diddy from a young age, has openly spoken about how much he learned from him. But their relationship has come under scrutiny in recent years, especially after old footage resurfaced of Diddy talking about 
how Usher lived with him when he was just a teenager. In one interview, Usher joked about the wild parties he was exposed to at such a young age, and Diddy made a strange comment about them wrestling over cereal in the mornings. To many, these comments were brushed off as just another example of Diddy's quirky sense of humor. But now, in light of the new accusations, people are looking at these stories in a very different light. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. And it doesn't stop there. Usher's not the only one whose relationship with Diddy has raised eyebrows. Over the years, other celebrities who've been seen at Diddy's parties or linked to him in some way have had their own share of rumors and allegations thrown their way. From Justin Bieber to Jamie Foxx, Diddy's circle of influence seems to stretch far and wide. In fact, Jamie Foxx even made a joke about Diddy's all-men parties, which only healed the fire of speculation surrounding what really goes on behind closed doors at these exclusive events. Not only should he have apologized to Cassie in that video, he should have apologized to all of the general public that he lied to. And then, of course, there's the elephant in the room, Cassie. Diddy's longtime girlfriend turned ex Cassie Ventura has had her own legal battles with Diddy that brought shocking details to light. In late 2023, Cassie filed a civil lawsuit against Diddy, accusing him of mistreatment and manipulation throughout the relationship. One of the most disturbing claims in her suit was that Diddy forced her to participate in what he called freak-offs, where she was allegedly made to engage in intimate activities with others, all under Diddy's watchful eye. These parties, described in graphic detail, were said to be one of the ways Diddy maintained control over his inner circle. While Cassie and Diddy eventually settled the lawsuit, the details that emerged during the case added even more layers to the already murky narrative surrounding Diddy's parties. Cat's accusations about Kevin Hart paired with the stories from Cassie and others paint a picture of a man who allegedly uses his power and influence to manipulate those around him. Whether it's young, impressionable stars looking for a break or longtime partners like Cassie, the pattern seems to be the same. Diddy offers the world, but there's always a catch. And for those who refuse to play along, the consequences can be severe. Now, if the government is going to mandate that they are responsible for your well-being, they have to ensure the safety of your well-being. But is this really how Hollywood works, according to Cat Williams? It is. He's been vocal about what he calls the gatekeepers of the industry. People like Diddy, who he claims hold the keys to success, but only hand them over to those willing to compromise their values. Cat has framed himself as someone who chose to walk away from the game rather than sell out, and it's a narrative that resonates with many who believe that Hollywood is built on secrets and backroom deals. And I remember, like, I don't know if you know his, his what his voice sounds like, but, like, I felt like I was in the presence of his monster inside. So where does this leave Kevin Hart? Despite Kat's accusations, Kevin has remained notably silent on the matter. He hasn't addressed the rumors directly, but his continued success suggests that the allegations haven't done much damage to his career, at least not yet. But with more and more people coming forward to share their experiences, it's possible that Kevin may eventually be forced to respond. After all, when you're a public figure, staying silent only works for so long. And while Kevin may not have addressed the allegations, Diddy himself has also been relatively quiet on the subject. Sure, he's faced plenty of legal troubles recently, and his team has been working overtime to manage the fallout from his arrest and the lawsuits. But when it comes to these rumors about his private life and the accusations from people like Cat Williams, Diddy has largely chosen to stay out of the fray. The rumors are that Diddy was running some kind of Epstein-type deal where he was filming everybody, right? That's the rumors, yeah. I don't know that there's any proof of anything other than that. Yet, with every new allegation, the pressure mounts. The whispers that were once confined to Hollywood's inner circles are now making their way into the public eye, and it's becoming harder and harder and harder for those involved to ignore them. Whether it's Cat Williams, Cassie, or the countless others who've hinted at Diddy's alleged behavior over the years, the stories are starting to pile up. And if there's one thing we know about Hollywood, it's that when enough people start talking, the truth, whatever that may be, eventually comes out. What's perhaps most shocking about all of this is how many people allegedly knew about Diddy's behavior, but chose to stay silent. According to some insiders, it was an open secret that Diddy's parties were more than just your average celebrity get-togethers. The elite of Hollywood, the music industry, and even the sports world all knew what went down at these events. But no one spoke up. Why? Because, as Cat Williams has suggested, calling out someone as powerful as Diddy comes with risks. Careers could be destroyed, opportunities lost, and reputations tarnished, all for daring to speak out against one of the most influential figures in entertainment. Yeah, that's why, of course. There's layers upon layers. <laughs> when you get into these f***ing conspiracy theories, man, they, they never end. They never end. There's just layers upon layers upon layers. But now, with the tide turning and more people coming forward, it seems like the days of silence might finally be over. Whether or not Kevin Hart chooses to address the allegations, the fact that these stories are being told at all is significant. Hollywood is a place where image is everything, and the cracks in Diddy's carefully curated persona are starting to show. 
There are some problems that are the defense has brought up originally, but it seems like, just from reading this 14-page indictment, that there is enough physical evidence to perhaps get a conviction in this case. We well shall see, these are allegations. The big question is, how far will this go? Will we see more people stepping forward with their own stories about Diddy's parties? Will more names be dragged into the spotlight accused of participating in or enabling this alleged behavior? And what about Kevin Hart? Will his involvement with Diddy continue to haunt him? Or will he be able to move past the allegations unscathed? As with any scandal, it's impossible to predict exactly how things will unfold. But one thing is clear, this story is far from over. With Cat Williams refusing to back down and more details emerging every day, the narrative surrounding Diddy, Kevin Hart, and the Hollywood elite is only going to get messier. Oh, but the truth is, in 20 years, I've never been on a commercial audition in my life. Like, I never let my tour get sponsored when I was broke or now, like... And here's the thing, Hollywood loves a comeback story, but it also loves a good downfall. As the public watches this drama play out, people are already picking sides and the stakes couldn't be higher. If Cat Williams' claims are true, we could be looking at one of the biggest scandals in recent memory, with far-reaching implications for everyone involved. On the other hand, if these allegations turn out to be nothing more than rumors, it could still leave a lasting stain on the reputations of those named. Either way, the public's fascination with this story isn't going anywhere. The intersection of power, fame, and scandal has always been a recipe for intrigue, and this situation has all the ingredients for a headline-grabbing saga that could rock Hollywood to its core. The only question now is who will come out on top? Will Diddy finally be held accountable for his alleged actions? Will Kevin Hart's career be impacted by his association with these rumors? Or will the public move on as they so often do, leaving the scandal to fade into the background while Hollywood carries on as usual? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this explosive story.